One of the only constants in the world of technology is change. I think the adoption of the technology and how we can make better decisions is rapidly accelerating within the energy space. Technology has totally changed us as a firm. We embrace technology every day. You know, we're doing things today that 10 years ago we never dreamed we would do. And I think 10 years from now, we'll be doing things that we never dreamed of. You have to be more cutting edge. You have to be making better decisions. You have to optimize your efficiency. You have to maximize your EURs. You have to figure out how to not waste dollars. I do think that we're kind of standing at a new dawn in terms of what's the next big thing in terms of really moving the needle in, in, in energy. And I do think that has to do with data analytics and machine learning. I think if you're starting out making a leap into technology the way we did, I think you have to be honest with what you don't know and partner accordingly. Nobody in our business has a monopoly on all of the good ideas we've executed on. And you need a good leadership team to support your effort. Right? You're going to make mistakes, right? But remember, you're innovating. Mistakes are part of that. I think first thing that we had to do is we really had to kind of re-center the organization's priorities uh, in terms of really d defining what we are as a firm. We had a unique kind of vantage point in the sense that we're an energy investment fund. We invest capital in energy, but we also were very involved in the companies that we, that we back. And so we had a kind of a unique perspective of thinking about this from technology as a, as a financial investor, but also technology in terms of how our portfolio companies could utilize that technology to lower cost and extract more hydrocarbons out of the ground. What we effectively communicated to our team here is we're no longer a private equity firm. What we are is we're a technology company that basically provides capital to the energy industry. What we've done in the past 18 months or two years is we've uh, recognized new platforms, new tools, new systems that can help us make better decisions. It's very contagious and our employees are motivated to use technology to help us make better decisions, to make better decisions faster and to be more competitive in every part of our business. I think the business is harder than it's ever been. Well, what's really unique about our franchise is we have Four Point, uh, really focused in the in the Anadarko Basin, Double Point in the Permian Basin. We have two mineral companies, and we have a midstream company, and we have all that with less than 100 people outside of our field office. So, the use of technology, the ability to actually analyze that data, and do it at a at a really high rate of speed without doing shortcuts at all is really a game changer for us. When I joined Credit Suisse 20 years ago, the number of deals I could do as a managing director then would probably be somewhere around eight to 12 deals a year. I can do now two to three times that. And the reason I can do two to three times as many deals is really embracing technology and the quickness and the speed at which we can get things done. But what technology has been able to do literally has accelerated our ability to deliver value to our clients by at least a factor of 10. We're never done innovating and we are never done investing. Our product today is better than what it is yesterday and our product tomorrow will be better than what it is today. I would argue that an engineer today with the tools, the technology tools that are available to them can do you know, the work of 10 engineers just a decade ago. We have to be constructive and out of the box in our thinking, and we have to be willing to put aside the convention and the belief in what has worked in the past. I think most of our peers, I think most companies in the energy space recognize the value of technology, have recognized some gains, and we just can't be fearful to adopt it. We're only here because of our clients. It's been our clients that have driven us to the leading edge of technology, and you have our promise that we will always remain on that edge of technology. And I couldn't be more proud to be a part of an industry that has really revolutionized the energy business all over the world.